everybody, Tim and Julie here for another new Batman Adventures Part 3. So at this point we're halfway through. We've done three. We got three more to go. Uh, episodes 9, 10, 11, 12. As always, start from the top, work our way down. Love is a crock. So this is the return of Baby Doll. I didn't mean to. <laughs> and the return of Killer Croc. Both of which are played by new actors. Baby Doll, I couldn't really tell a difference. Like, she was pretty good. Killer Croc is very, very different. Because in the previous series, he was almost like a bluish gray color. Yeah. Whereas in this series, he's green. Like, he looks like a, a crocodile. Um, this episode has one of my favorite lines where they're about to be blown up by some nuclear reactor or whatever and batman's like how much time do we have or, or no he says like can can you can you disarm it and batgirl's like well you'll know in a minute or, or in a minute you'll know or you won't care like i said it's my favorite line i just fucked it up but it's okay <laughs> but he's like can you disarm it well in a minute you'll know or you don't care or won't care but either way, I love it because it's like, hey, either we're going to live or we're going to die. It's it's either or at this point. So who knows? Um, so what did you think of Baby Doll teaming up with Killer Croc? She is adorable. And this episode, it was... I liked it. I mean, they got along and then... But then Croc, he got kind of tired of her clinging to him and... I didn't mean to. And, but, um, but she was always there. And they, yeah, they did their crimes and stuff. But, um, she, like I said, she really cared about him. Mm -hmm. You know, it was more like a love story. But, yeah. Did you feel bad at her? For, yeah. You feel bad for her. And yeah, and when he pushed her away or slapped her and all that. Yeah, that. That wasn't good. Well, even before that, like, when she's trying to live, like, the normal life at the hotel, mm -hmm. and, like, the drunk, obnoxious guy is like, say something funny! Like, no, fuck off. Like, <laughs> but, all right. uh, the next episode, Torch Song, the first appearance of Firefly, a character that we will see in future series, future episodes. He is a character that they wanted to do in the first year the animated series but he was deemed like too violent mm -hmm. so they they said no but then this series they were like fuck it let's just go um i mean he's kind of the exact opposite of like mr freeze like he's all about yeah. fire so yeah he was okay um, yeah to me he looked like ant-man or something oh yeah um, so, yeah. Which I think this is the first episode where Batman actually dons like special armor because he wears like fireproof right. a, or a fireproof suit. Yeah, because there, so, yeah, okay. there was a lot of fire. Mm -hmm. uh, the next episode, Ultimate Thrill with Roxy Rocket uh, and the Penguin makes an appearance. I don't like this Penguin. I still, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I prefer like the Mutiny Penguin, the Danny DeVito type Penguin. Mm -hmm. Whereas this Penguin is... I think more based off of Burgess Meredith. Yeah, he's kind of... And he's also, like, le he is a criminal, but he's more of, like, a businessman. Right. Where he's, like, he owns the Iceberg Lounge, and he's trying to just do his own thing. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, he's clearly doing illegal things under it. Mm -hmm. But... Um, and then we mm -hmm. also see, like, the Bat Jetpack. So, uh, what do you think of Roxy Rocket? The, the stunt woman thrill seeker that... That's all she wants. She just wants the adrenaline. Yeah. Nothing? No. Yeah, she wasn't anything. Special. Nothing to write home about? No. Okay. Huh? So we'll just jump to the end. Over the edge. Where I'll just I'll just get it out of the way. I hate it. I absolutely hate it. So every series has this episode. Like where everything's going wrong and at the very end it's a dream or it's like a chemical induced thing i don't know why i just got a flash of like dallas in the shower or whatever where he's like oh. when then dallas and he's like oh hi yeah you oh, thought he yeah. was dead yes 
or like Star Trek had those episodes and it's like, oh, nope, it's just all a holodeck program or something. And sure enough, even Batman gets it where the whole episode is everybody knows Batman. Batgirl is dead. Nightwing is arrested. Everybody's just having a terrible day. And then, nope, it's just Batgirl with the Scarecrow toxin and that's it. The yeah. end. I mean, it's a waste of fucking 20 minutes. Yeah. For me. I don't know. That's my soapbox. Okay, go mm -hmm. ahead. What'd you think? I agree with you. Yeah, it kind of bored me. Mm -hmm. I kept dozing mm -hmm. around with the dog he loves. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, it wasn't. I, I do think this is the first appearance of the Mad Hatter and the Riddler in the, the new Batman Adventures. Which, I love the Mad Hatter. I thought he looked great. The Riddler, meh. I don't know why he's bald now. It's weird. But Oh, and Bane. Like Bane showing up at the end. This is the new appearance of Bane. Anything else? No. Okay. So, for those who have seen these groups of episodes, like I said, I feel like we started off strong and then we yeah. kind of tanked a little bit. Like, I loved Baby Doll. I loved Killer Croc. I loved Firefly. Roxy's not bad, for me at least. I mean, she's. I don't hate her, but like... I don't think of her as like a major villain. Mm -hmm. And then, like I said, I hate the drug induced co the episodes, yeah. but, uh, so I'm curious what everybody else thinks about these. So go ahead, let us know so we can talk about it. Like I said, halfway through, we're almost done already. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for subscribing. We'll see you guys next time for part four.